believe that this is one of those dishes that everybody is pretty much familiar with, but everybody has their own recipe. I'm talking about salmon croquettes. So today, I'm going to share my recipe and how I make them with you. But before we get started, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today here in my kitchen. If you are not subscribed, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much. Channel members, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we are going to be using canned salmon and it is pink salmon in the can. That's what we're using. So I'm actually going to use two cans of it. First, you want to go in and it usually has some big bones in there. And some people keep the bones in. I like to take them out. They come out pretty even in there. So just take them out as you can see. And I just put them right back in that can so I can toss them out. So I'm going to take the bones out of both of these cans and then we'll be right back. Okay, now that we've got that taken care of, I'm going in with red, green, and yellow bell peppers. You can use any colors you want. If you don't like bell peppers, you can simply leave them out. I am also going in with a half of a medium yellow onion, and I will leave all the ingredients and everything down in the description for you guys. This is one whole medium shallot, also going in with two eggs that have been lightly beaten. I'm going to be using my all-purpose prep seasoning. You can get that at the link at the end of the video. So I'm going to put that in there. Adding in a little all-purpose flour. You can also use cornstarch. And I'm going in with about a half a cup of leftover loaded mashed potatoes. You don't have any leftover mashed potatoes. You can just simply cook one up and mash it. Or you can use any mashed potatoes you have. You can use instant mashed potatoes. The choice is yours. So for now, I'm going to mix this a little bit. Then I'm going to get in here with my hand and mix it really, really well. Okay. So you just want to make sure everything is well combined. It's going to be so soft and tender, juicy, creamy on the inside. Mm -mm. And if you could smell this now, oh my goodness. This smells amazingly delicious. Okay. I'm going to also go in with a little liquid jalapeno juice. Um, you don't like the heat, it doesn't really provide heat, but it provides an amazing flavor. Go ahead and combine that as well. It also helps bind it together. Any liquid will do that, but you don't want more than a tablespoon or two. Now what I have here is a mixture of a little yellow cornmeal, all-purpose flour, and again, my seasoning. We're gonna go in here and you wanna try your best to make them all the same size so that they will cook evenly, look nicely, and nobody will feel like, oh, I got a little one. You got a big one. <laughs> oh my goodness. They don't have to be perfect. Do your best to shape them as round as you can, keeping them all about the same size. Then we're just gonna dust them on both sides just like that. Get your edges. And you can sit it down in the mixture. I just tend to always do it this way. You don't want a lot of excess on there, but that's gonna provide a nice crispy crust on there. Okay, and then I have a prepared tray here. Just sit it on that. That is just a baking dish with parchment paper lined on it. So you wanna just do this to all your mixture until it is all gone. After that, once we get them all prepared, we're gonna put them in the refrigerator or you can put them in the freezer for just maybe about 10, 15 minutes while you're getting ready to heat up your skillet. If you put them in the freezer or the refrigerator first, if you put them in the freezer, actually you won't have to leave them in there, but maybe five minutes or so. 
you're just making them set. This keeps them from breaking apart instantly when you put them down in that hot oil. Okay, so I'm gonna get the rest of these made up and then we'll be back. Okay, so now grab your skillet and I'm gonna use some vegetable oil. You can use any kind of oil you want. I'm using vegetable oil, but you don't have to. I know a lot of people don't like to use it, but I do. So we're gonna go ahead and get that heated. Okay, so we are now putting them down in our oil. Work in batches, don't overcrowd your skillet. We're gonna let these cook for maybe a few minutes on this side and turn them over. Okay, they are ready to come out, the first batch. And anytime you're frying food, put it on a wire rack, not directly on the paper towel so that it can drain down without losing its crispiness all around. You don't want one side to be crispy and the other side not to be. So we do it like that and then always go in with just a pinch of salt. Just a pinch brings out that flavor. Okay, we are all done. Look at this. Don't they look amazing? Oh my goodness. So nice and crispy. Ooh wee. I gotta have a bite. Gotta have a bite. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I had to fix me a little side salad. Now, a lot of people like to eat sam salmon croquettes with grits. That's a little bit too heavy for me. So I just like to go ahead and fix me a side salad and get me a dip, which I actually just have some homemade uh, tartar sauce with this today. So that is what I am having with mine, but feel free to have with yours, whatever sounds good for you guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Got my little side salad over there. Yes. So we're going to give it a taste test. I even got me a little bitty small one here so I could break it in half. But before we go ahead with our taste test, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today here in my kitchen. I really do appreciate you. Take a second, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell so you won't miss anything. To my returning subscribers and channel members, thank you so much for your loyal, faithful support. Okay, I'm gonna dip this in here. Let me break it off. Ooh, it smells good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. You've got to try this and you've got to let me know what you think. Oh, it's so creamy inside. That's what those potatoes do. Nice and creamy inside. The flavor from my all-purpose seasoning is shining through the bell peppers, the onions, the shallots. Ooh, Lord knows this is delicious. Ooh, wait. Oh, I wish we had smell of vision. Mm, 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 mm. And taste a vision too. You all know it's time for me to go and eat. And I will see you all next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Bye bye. <laughs>